currently recording on my bed so hopefully this won't be too shaky i bought a meow cafe binder and also pages and also sleeves i've been thinking about getting one of these binders for a while but i was trying to figure out all the dimensions and stuff and as expected this binder is huge at least for an a5 binder or what i'm used to at least but it makes sense since the rings are i think two inches I've only opened the sleeves and the pages. I've yet to look at the actual binder. Oh, you can put a pink one instead of a black one. I'll probably change it to the pink one. Oh, okay. This comes with the two back boards. This is the A5 wide two inch square binder. I don't mind it being big, but I haven't decided where I'm going to store it yet. But I'll probably figure that out eventually. <laughs> and here are the pages. I'll get into that later. It's not too bad. Use my hand for reference. Also, I put dangly charms on my middle fingers. So hopefully that won't be annoying. I don't think it will, but... Okay, now I've just made you aware of it. Oops. That literally doesn't matter. Okay. So I got the A5 Slim pages. And then I decided... I'm going to try out double sleeving. So I bought the ones that are good for double sleeving and then I bought an extra 50 because I think I have slightly over 100 photo cards for this no I don't even think I have 100 photo cards for this collection sorry I'm shaking I was trying to decide between the pink or purple binder but I decided to get pink since I typically have more of a pink thing going on anyways and I was also trying to decide what collection to put in this one I kind of had some in mind either I was going to either do silky or my Luna and Chetty collection. I decided to put Sylvie in here since I'm pretty sure I have the most photo cards for her overall and I am planning to expand her collection a bit this year. I did separate my Luna collection into two binders but I'm planning to do a collection video update next week. Maybe. So I'll probably show that then. So I'm putting Sylvie in here. I have all my Sylvie photo cards in here. I took them out of the original pages and then out of their sleeves as well. I probably won't sleeve every single card on camera I'm probably going to run out of things to say, and I don't want to sleeve in silence. Hope you understand. Oh, these cards I'm storing later. But these are all my silky cards, unsleeved. And I was going to count, but I forgot. But I think it's like a lot. I kind of decided this is too shaky. I'll just hold really still. Hopefully you guys don't get vertigo. I already have vertigo, so you can see how I live. Just kidding, I won't put you through that. I've moved to the floor, so it is stable. One day I will sit properly while recording, but I literally don't have any desk space and I use my desk and desk chair to just store random shit on. So we are on the floor. Ow. So I already tested out double sleeving just to make sure everything worked in the pages I got. And these smaller ones, are really nice but for some reason these bigger ones got scuffed up pretty easily i know sleeves do the more you touch them they're gonna get a little bit not as nice and my nail could have accidentally scratched it but overall they seem pretty nice i'll have to see how they work in the long run sometimes i'm kind of picky when it comes to sleeves and pages everything has to be uniform for me which is kind of annoying like all the pages i have are the same beyond brand because if i mix pages it bothers me i don't know why it doesn't feel too thick either, and I know the binder holds a lot of pages. I bought the option where it automatically comes with 50 pages along with the two backboards and stuff. And then obviously I'm not sponsored by Meow Cafe. Do they even sponsor people? I don't know. I just bought it because I wanted to try it out. I wasn't even planning to make this a video, but I'm gonna try to upload more. Do not hold me to that. YouTube sent me like an end of the year recap thing and it said I uploaded 23 videos which probably isn't a lot but that's a lot for me because I edit the fuck out of my videos if you couldn't tell I'm gonna try not to edit too much just because it takes me a really long time and when it takes me a long time it kind of demotivates me from wanting to edit it really depends what kind of video it is and how much I messed up my words because you probably can't tell or maybe you can tell I fumble over my words a lot and i have a bit of a stutter 
So I always try to cut that out. I also try to cut out like mouth sounds or times I cough just because I find it disgusting personally. I have really bad sinus problems. So I'm always like sniffing and swallowing. Yeah. Yeah, it's gross to me. I mean, I don't really mind when other people do it, but I prefer to cut that stuff out if I can. I also try to cut out like, 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 so, um, I try not to say um, just because I know it's really fucking annoying. Even though I don't really notice it when other people do it, I only notice it when people point it out. And I notice it when I'm editing my video and I say like, 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 I say like a lot. I am good about not saying um as much. I think next week I'm going to record a collection video not like a full one because i did one like four months ago so it hasn't been that long i only do them when my collection changes enough to the point where i think i should record it i don't know i probably should record them more because my collection changes more often than i usually plan to so it'll be more like a collection update like i'm not gonna go super in depth with everything there's a piece of is that gonna bother me it might no, it's on the inside. Also, with my nails, it's kind of hard to... Oh my god. Bro, that was fucking annoying. Yeah, I'm planning to do a collection video next week. I'll probably record it. I'm actually going to add on like a kind of in-depth shelf tour. And also where I keep all my binders and stuff. Basically, the stuff I've never shown on my channel before. But I always said I would. Because I always forget to. Or I just don't feel like it. Dude, that takes so much time. I tried filming a shelf tour once and it literally turned out so bad. So I didn't, I just deleted it. I also might talk about my collection goals in that video. But I don't really have any specific goals. I just kind of collect whatever, whenever I feel like it. I feel like my goal is always just to finish at least the album photo cards. But most of my collections are pretty complete. There's only a few that I'm kind of behind on. But I'll definitely finish them this year, so it's not really a goal, I think. I do have stuff I want to expand, and I'm planning on talking about it during the flip-through of each collection. Oh, I can't believe this was a pre-order benefit. I think it's from Aladdin. It literally doesn't even have her face on it, which is so funny. I think I watched a unboxing of someone opening 28 Reasons, and they ordered from Aladdin or whatever store this was, hoping to get pre-order benefits, and they just got like six of these. It looks kind of cool on the back of this one. Since it's like double hollow. Is this good enough? Oh my god. They're not quite the same size. So it's kind of hard to line them up. But if I put them in at the same time. Hopefully this stays. I don't know. I feel like double sleeping is good. For cards that are a little bit thicker. I thought about maybe double sleeping my triple S collection. Because those cards are super thick. Or objects in general are like super thick. I also don't think I've mentioned. But I don't have any chill kill photo cards yet for Silgi. Not that it matters for this video, but I haven't even bought any yet. I didn't buy any versions. I was planning to, but I bought some other stuff. Even though Red Velvet should be a priority, but I usually tend to prefer buying Silky's cards on Ricard Japan. I also want to collect some of her pre-orders and like fan sign benefits from Chill Kill as well. A lot of them are like super, super cute. And then there's nine photo cards. And I do everything in like a four layout, so I'll need at least three pre-order benefits to fill up the remaining spot. Or maybe I'll collect more, because my plan is kind of to collect more for Sully, especially since I have this big binder now. I've looked on Makari Japan lately, and the prices for Chill Kill like, aren't the best. I feel like after birthday release last year, the prices were like pretty decent. Like I was able to buy stuff pretty early on. I just haven't really found any good prices like the bag cards i was expecting those to be pretty cheap since you get them in a set of five even though i know the bag is kind of expensive people are selling the individual ones for like seven dollars and i am not gonna spend seven dollars on a card that comes in a set of five i really want all her cards and i could just buy the bag but it's expensive i don't know and i don't really like the bags that much i feel like everyone really liked the bag when it was released but I just wasn't really gagging over it. I don't really like the silver one that much. And it's really tiny. Maybe if it was bigger, maybe I'd like it more. But I get why it's so small. Yeah, not much luck with Mercari Japan right now. And I usually use Bai, but they don't have any coupons right now. And I pretty much only use Bai when they have coupons. Because they'll randomly have ones for specifically Mercari, but they haven't lately. Even though it's only like a couple cents off, but like to me that's worth it. I was expecting Bai to have some like New Year's coupons or something, but they have not. So I haven't really 
been looking on there. I also prefer to buy stuff in sets because so far right now I've seen the package version cards have been kind of expensive, at least for Sogi. And one of the package cards is very similar to the, I think the S mini or the poster version. So I keep getting confused. I would ideally like to get the package version, like the member one, in a set since you're guaranteed to get a Sogi card if you buy the Sogi package version. But people have been overpricing those. Maybe I need to look on Instagram, but I literally cannot find anything on Instagram lately. Oh my god, why? I haven't really even been selling on Instagram either. I started using Mercari, like Mercari US, because I feel like it's pretty user-friendly. And I don't mind, like, messaging people and giving them, like, address proof and stuff. But sometimes I just don't feel like doing that, and I'd rather just have, like, a third company, third-party company, just take care of it for me. But I've been having some issues, because Mercari introduced a new like shipping method where you can send stamped mail i made the mistake of sending it kind of around the holidays not that i thought it got lost but the post office i sent it to they aren't the best at sending mail out immediately i don't really know how that works but i really need to stop going to that one post office and it's further it's across the street from my work so i only go there when i go to work they dropped off like four letters i think it was five letters actually on I think it was New Year's Eve, because that's when I worked last, and they have yet to be picked up or, like, processed, so then Mercari's like, we're gonna cancel this, or allow the person to cancel if the tracking doesn't get updated. I have no control over that, and especially since it's the holidays, I feel like there should be, like, lenience. One person didn't have any reviews, so I'm kind of scared. They'll be like, okay, I'll just cancel and get my money back, and then when it shows up, scammed. Okay, forget I said any of that. The letters are now in transit so hopefully they arrive but now i'm worried about the shipping option i chose because i also bought a knock-on card off mercari and she was held hostage at the post office because the seller made the envelope too thick so i had to pay almost four dollars in postage because they fucked up and i kind of feel bad because they were probably just making sure the card was protected and my post office is kind of whack so I'll probably just message the seller, but like, what the fuck, Mercari? On Google, they have like a two-star review, but that's just people being like super petty and annoying because they're impatient. Like if mail takes a week, it's fine. I don't really care. But some people are very impatient. I kind of ran out of things to talk about, but something happened yesterday at work. So I was maybe like an hour into my shift and then the fire alarm goes off. And that hasn't happened in a really long time. The last time it happened was like, probably a year ago and it was just like some malfunction with like the gas pipes or something everything was fine but for this one i was like that's strange i don't know if i ever mentioned i work at a gym so everyone is out on the floor working out so the fire alarm goes off like the lights are flashing i feel like in school you're taught like book it to the door like you need to get out of there right now everyone runs to the locker room <laughs> like what if the fire was in the locker room they would be dead and it would not be my fault because i don't give a fuck so i just started gathering my stuff and then i just go in the locker room i'm like hey there's a fire come on guys there wasn't a fire but like you know i don't know the fire alarm's going off and then one of my other coworkers, he's like an older guy and he's like kind of like more like by the books or whatever i don't know how to describe it but he was in the men's bathroom being like yeah, everyone get the fuck out there's a fire he was screaming at everyone i was like okay it's not that serious but then no one wanted to go outside because it was cold outside so everyone was standing in like the hallway and then so we stood outside for like maybe 10 minutes it wasn't that long but then we found out it was a group of kids in the bathroom smoking and they're the ones who set off the alarm <laughs> like fucking amateurs what happened to smoking in the woods why are you going into a public building especially one that's by a bunch of like government buildings and a police station like just go into the forest i don't get it i just took a break and sleeved a few off camera but i'm gonna take another break in like five minutes because i'm gonna eat pizza what was i saying oh yeah i have a lot of really crazy work stories I'm surprised I haven't told a lot of them, mainly because a lot of them are like pretty bad situations I've been in. I also have to call 911 a lot. And I called 911 like two weeks ago. Some lady fell. She was fine. But I was put on hold. Like they had to transfer me and I was waiting for like five minutes to be transferred to like my local 911 operator. It's crazy too because my work is literally across the street from the police station. So I could have ran to the police station and gotten help faster than calling 911. I know they probably have some like shit going on. And it was a Sunday, so like, but it was just weird. I've never had that happen. Like, what if the lady was having a heart attack or something? Once again, not their fault. Like, I know that job must be really hard, but 
I just had never experienced that before because I've had to call 911 at least like I think like 10 times in the past two years don't work at gyms you guys okay just don't I'm only on finale and then I have all my non-album stuff oh, I decided I'm gonna put all the album stuff together and then all the non-album stuff is gonna be at the very end but I am planning to expand my non-album pre-order stuff fan sign benefit whatever this is what the current stack is looking like but this is because it's double sleep so it's like extra giant i'm gonna start a new one so i don't knock that one over i'm pretty much out of sleeves i bought extra ones because i i guess this will be a good way to find out how many sulky cards i have i believe i counted i have 24 pages worth and then some i keep on the back so i probably have around what's 24 times four well we can open up a new pack now I bought an extra 50, so I still have about 100 left of each size. So hopefully that'll be enough. And I'm not against buying more. I might end up buying some color sleeves as well, because I don't have any to make fillers, and I completely forgot about that. But it's not really a big deal. I can just leave it blank or like use a post-it note to make a filler. Or a piece of paper. I don't know why I have to use a sleeve. The reason I ended up buying sleeves in the first place is because I wanted to hit free shipping, and you had to spend at least $60 dollars. So I just bought sleeves to get free shipping. No, it, I think it was worth it. I mentioned I didn't have any Chilco cards, but I still want to talk about the comeback. But I think I'm going to do that while I'm storing like the cards in each page. I still think it's crazy that it's been six years since their last full album. I feel like everyone's been impatiently awaiting this for way too long. It's just really fucked up. They had to wait so long. And there's really no one else to blame but misogyny if we're being real obviously sm entertainment is to blame but yeah that company's kind of like the powerhouse of misogyny fx we will never forget you girls generation thankfully got a full album after years since their last release even but that was for their anniversary <laughs> so i hope we don't have to wait for red velvet's anniversary milestones in order to get a new comeback it'll be red velvet's 10th anniversary this year which is so crazy and i'm sure they were planning something but who knows if that'll happen full albums for sm girl groups are very elusive we're still waiting for an espo full album even though that was teased last year but i know sm went through some crazy shit and obviously full albums take a ton of time and effort but how are nct xo and shiny still pumping out full albums like every year even tvxq is still making full albums which i am forever thankful for because those are my men everyone go listen to 20 and 2 tvxq's ninth studio album ninth ninth studio album that's crazy this year if we're not going to get a ton of group activities i would love to see a yeri or irene solo debut i don't know about yeri because it seems like she's focusing more on acting but maybe irene also comebacks for joy wendy and sulgi also irene and sulgi come back i think Definitely, the girls that have released solos will definitely have comebacks, you know, before they have to go into the military. I'm joking. Okay. Dude, I've been talking for so long and I still have a bunch. So I think I'm gonna, I literally have had my pizza sitting in front of me for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna eat my pizza and then just leave the rest of these and then I'll store. So I'll be back. Look how short my thumbs are. This one broke and then I put a fake one on, but then the fake one was so hard to get off. Like, it actually took me, like, five hours because I don't have a drill. I'm not the nail tech I thought I was. But, so I just chopped this one off so they match. And I was like, okay, I'll just cut the rest of my nails off. So, new year, new nail length. But they're going to grow back in, like, three months. So, I'm enjoying the short nails for now. I can type so easily, but I can't text anymore. Like, my thumbs, I use a different part of my thumb, so it doesn't fucking work. But I can type really fast. Here's our silky stack, fully double sleeved, and I forgot to count. I'll count at the end. I'm going to split this in half so they don't all fall over. Here's a binder again. I'm just gonna open one pack for now, because I think I only need 24 pages. I was gonna order an extra pack, but I don't think I need that many. So far, I've already looked at the sleeves when I first opened this, and they look pretty nice. I'm very picky when it comes to sleeves. I've gotten a lot of Beyond D ones. Those are the ones I use normally. Lately, I've been getting good ones, but I used to get really bad quality Beyond D ones. 
you'd be able to see a bunch of lines and they'd be kind of warped but these look pretty nice and this is only 25 pages and obviously it's gonna fill up when i put the cards in but like that's a lot of room i do like that there is a market now for bigger ringed a5 binders as well as 15 pocket size binders like that was almost non-existent maybe two to three years ago there are quite a few small businesses that have popped up over the years and i know there are some companies with some drop shipping scandals but feel free to make your own informed opinion about that oh that's so loud i kind of wish it had like one of those button thingies so it's easier to open but honestly i just rip open all my a5 binders anyways <gasps> okay that slid in really easily Ew! please ignore my fingerprints right here it's probably gonna happen my fingers aren't sweaty they're just kind of like by the way i'm just storing it like how i always do it's the same setup as how it used to be basically for chilco it is probably my least favorite full album from them but that's only out of three full albums ever like it's gonna be hard to top the red and perfect velvet for me but overall i say it ranks somewhere in the middle for overall discography definitely not the most like groundbreaking title track but it's still a really good listen i haven't listened to it much i definitely go back to many of the b-sides more than the title but i absolutely love the bridge it reminds me of the bridge in maniac not the one by vds the one by tvxq changman they went very like 80s with it and i really like it i also like that the song is pretty long as well i also do have a lot of thoughts about the music video itself this happened with Sulky's solo debut where the teaser pictures and mood sample videos were so incredible and then the music video was just kind of underwhelming in comparison. I still love the overall setting and the murder concept, but they've already done that. But just like a thousand times better with Peekaboo. The Chill Kill music video felt more like grounded in reality though. Like they literally got caught by the police. Or maybe there's like a deleted scene where Irene pulls out a Glock and fights back. Like who knows? I was expecting more from the music video overall, but it's definitely different than all their other music videos they've ever done. Maybe I'm just missing out on, you know, an overarching message or lore, but to me, it just kind of seemed like they had a very poorly planned out second degree murder plan. Everything about the concept, I think was perfect. It is definitely up there with Dum Dum and Bad Boy for me in terms of styling and photo shoots. Chill Kill feels like an elevated psycho in terms of concept. Psycho is more like horror coded, I'd say. Well, actually the sister's concept is kind of horror-esque, but the elements, elemental concept, it feels more like ethereal, otherworldly maybe, mythological, <laughs> I don't know. I cannot think of an adjective to describe that concept, but it is just one of their best ever. I think I mentioned I didn't buy any of the versions, but I do really, really want the photo book versions. I do plan to get them probably second hand just so they're cheaper with no photo cards because I'm just going to get Silky's photo cards separately as well. I hope my nail isn't scratching the pages. For the photo book versions, I think I prefer the sister's front cover. I love the way they designed it, but the elemental concept, I think I like more overall, like the photo shoots and teasers they did, but I don't like the elemental cover as much. They went for like a watercolor type feel, which I do like, but it also kind of throws me off especially the member package version ones. I think I just prefer the original photo used before it was restyled, but I see what they were going for. Like Silky's cover is her holding the dragon fruit, star fruit, I think it was a dragon fruit. I love the original picture for that so much. So when it was kind of changed for the member covers, I didn't like it as much, but maybe if I saw it in person, I would like it more. Also another thing about the bag version I just remembered, is that the photo card sets are random out of two so if you buy both versions of the bag you aren't guaranteed to get both photo card sets and i think that is pretty whack they should have made the card sets bag specific so if you buy both bags you get both photo card sets but that would make life too easy right i was thinking i should just put this card here and then it'll give me more motivation to get the other three non-album cards i want to get for finale i'm gonna talk about my favorite songs as well i would say underwater is 100 
my favorite song off the album it's like a top 10 maybe even top 5 b-side for me overall i also love nightmare iced coffee wings and scenery scenery specifically makes me burst into tears and it's not even really that sad of a song something about red velvet ballads they've just been really getting to me lately especially the more sentimental sounding ones those make me sob i don't think i've listened to the rest of the other songs as much like will i ever see you again or bulldozer i enjoyed listening to them when i did do a listen through of the whole album but i feel like i'm not going back to them very often i think i'm going to leave these three spots blank i think i can get those like trading card packs i don't know if this is enough pages it seems like it will be this is the japanese section this is still a replica i've seen the real one and it's really not expensive but i'm mainly keeping it here because if they do another japanese release i wonder if they will and i wonder if it'll stay one card because they've consistently only done one card even though bloom came out and i thought they were going to do a bunch of cards because this was the time when everyone started doing a billion cards and chill kill is currently their album with the most photo cards and the packaging was pretty cool they always have really good packaging i still love the cake versions they did for birthday even though i never ended up buying it i think it's because it's a circle and i don't know where to store it so i never bought it so ugh, the id keeps sliding around so i'll probably have to move this i have two extra pages and i still have a full entire pack but I want to see how much this is filled up. Okay, this is it flattened. That's pretty good. Double sleeving definitely made it a lot thicker, but I think double sleeving sold these cards is worth it. I completely forgot to set up or leave pages for Chill Kill. I think I'm going to keep it separated by the subunit stuff and Japanese stuff. So I'm going to put it right after birthday. I guess my current plan is the nine album cards and then three pre-order benefits. But then that bothers me because I moved my birthday pre-order benefits back here because this is like not album card section. But then I do have non-album cards dispersed throughout my collection. So maybe we just ignore that. I might not use the front backboard or front board. It would be called a front board, right? I'll keep it for now. But, oh, and I changed the string to the pink one. Oops, I zoomed out. So that means the quality is worse and the audio has changed. Here's my triplest binder in comparison. I did decorate it a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> and then I don't know how I'm going to decorate this one yet. I want to go to a craft store and get some like cute stuff like ribbons or gems. But I don't want to make this binder even more bulky. Honestly, it's not even that bad. It's just a little thick on the side. What's it like if I stand it up? Seems like it stays pretty well. Okay, I think that's all I was gonna do. Okay, bye. Play, play. What did you see in